Our tail of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Well, Valentina Shevchenko has been fighting in combat sports since she was 12 years old. Pro MMA debut at 15. So you can expect she won't be affected by the bright lights here tonight. Yet another championship opportunity for Valentina Shevchenko. Oh, nice kick. Nice one, two there. A swing and a miss by Grosso. All right, well, we expect her to pursue takedowns in bunches, but the first attempt got stuffed there by the boxer. Pretty impressive takedown defense. Great takedown defense. Showed a very vast amount of knowledge in defending by clearing her hips, sprawling, getting her hips away, getting back to space, and almost shaking her finger at, at her going, uh-uh-uh, it ain't gonna be that easy. Right. Big shot to the head. She is throwing some wild strikes. Midway through round one. Grosso going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Body shots. Another nice combination of kicks for her there, and she does not discriminate, right? Mixing up the targets beautifully tonight. Mixing up the targets beautifully. She's not giving her opponent any idea of where she's going. Grosso gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Clean punch. Right back on those leg kicks. The right hand just misses. Don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Oh, nice body shot. Swing and a miss by Grosso. Oh, nice. So as we pull up some numbers here, three to 29 total strikes have landed now for Alexa Grosso. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh, she tagged you there. Great combination. Time, the time. Sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Just unable to quite find that range. Hands on your face. Oh, she's bought the bad, J.A. Shevchenko changes course and takes the fight to the ground. But we've seen this. We've seen Valentina mix it up. We saw it against Juliana Pena. We thought she was going to have to keep that fight standing. But before we knew it, fight was over by submission. Valentina Shevchenko is as good a mixed martial artist as we have in the UFC. She does a good job of recognizing that the shots are coming, and she's got to get out of the way. 
That Darce choke is tight. Stay true to herself. Rely on a submission defense. She said she was prepared. She said she was ready. And that defense shows how well she prepared for this fight. Lands the ground and pound strike here. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets longer. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to get their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top. And now she has her back. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Valentina Shevchenko. And there she goes again, landed another strike on the ground. Ten minutes in the books. Stop, stop, oh, she's stop. got the arm tight. She's got it isolated. You know she's landing way too many body shots. What's that about? Come on, look alive. Stay alert. Stay focused. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Able to block the punch there. Shevchenko going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Right on the button. Still stand. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space, so she's going to fade. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked. You have the Anderson Silva situation. Right back in the clinch. Look for the back hand. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now, but if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Well, she has really shored some things up defensively here as she blocks another set of shots there. She said it was going to be a focus, get better defensively. It's tonight. She's showing that the work has been done. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Push kick there to the body. Grosso's eye starting to swell now. Nice single. Oh, nice. Oh, looked like an elbow there from the top eye, Chef Schenker.
Oh, high level grappling by her there as she reverses position on the ground. She's stepping over the mount here. Oh, that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the ground. She was in trouble, now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. 30 seconds to go in the round. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. All right, so she survives to hear the final horn. What a round it was. And, of course, that knockdown midway through nearly got her out of there. Almost got her the finish, but now she needs to reset. Get ready to go back forward and try and secure a finish without forcing anything. It's very key that she does not get greedy. Go back and sit down at the table. Let it be set. Be patient. Have the first course, have the second course, and on the third course, the main course, find your finish. All right, so there is the horn, so we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from Rich. those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it. Oh, big knee! Could be the beginning of the end here. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. And now a little space between the two. Look at her handiwork there, beautiful straight punch, and now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. So she want to be a fighter. Back and forth we go between two of the best women in the world. Shevchenko's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly. Oh! You cannot take too many hills. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. A huge knee to the head. Grosso's left calf starting to show signs of bruising. Don't want to take too many more of those. Under two minutes here to go round four. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, she's trying to connect on the overhand left. Not there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Watch out, she's trying to set up that Ooh, up gotta that be up. careful taking too many of those leg kicks. You need to fight back. Right, so there it is again. Her striking has been on point really from the outset, and now some definite swelling on the opposition. Some absolute swelling. She has done a great job of targeting the face, making sure. I'm sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. She's got that single collar in the clinch now. Man, that thigh is starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smirking about it, right? But yeah. got to address it. You can't laugh at it now. You can't laugh at all. You've got to do a better job of addressing it and deter your opponent from going back to the well. Because otherwise, it'll just get worse and worse. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward.
All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round. DC, talk us through the knockdown, if you will. I mean, she was able to get to her spot. She was able to find the sweet spot, land that strike that put her opponent on her butt. Next time she lands that, the fight will be over. You ready to fight? You ready? Fight. Fifth and final round. All right, our next round is underway, and if you're a UFC fan and this is your first live event after a round like we just saw, you feel like this is the greatest thing you've ever seen. I mean, this is the greatest thing you've ever experienced. <laughs> Nobody could expect these two young ladies to put on that type of round. Oh, maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight for opponents are Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. All right, so watch for her to set up that hook here again. We were in our fighter meeting on Thursday. She said the fans are starting to call her Madam Lineker. She sees it as a compliment. She sees it as an absolute compliment because she is in love with that specific punch as much as John is. She doesn't even know John, but she says if I can take something from John Lineker is that I will... Oh, my God. She's in a lot of trouble, John. She's going to be so smart to the final bell. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's going to be on that cut and attacking that cut relentlessly. Grosso's pass is denied. That's a powerful strike from bottom position. Print the shirts, ground and pound. She's so fast, so straight, everything just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything's just perfect. I mean, it's a and she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Back and forth we go. Certainly a strong front runner for fight of the night as we go down to the wire here between these two combatants. They're both so skilled. They're both... Oh, 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 oh. Ton of trouble right now. Grosso's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Shevchenko going for the takedown, but unable to land. Look at the inside leg kick. She drops her opponent now. Maybe the beginning of the end, Shane. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. that we have seen all year. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. This fight is considered a majority draw. All right, so when it comes to the women, she's still the class of the 125-pounders. And, man, you know, I don't want to say that it's going to take a massive effort to dethrone her, but she seems to be the head of the class and by a pretty significant margin. Right? Yeah, she seems to be far ahead of the pack. And every time...